Hi, and welcome to B1UP Tips and Tricks session. Today we'll look at how to chain universal functions. So what is chaining? I will show you. So in my case, I have a button here called My Report, and this report launched a dashboard widget uh, in the system. It's actually from one of the other B1UP tips uh, on how to make a more advanced uh, version of SQL report. So go look at, have a look at that. But I, my customers is fairly new to this, so I want to give some kind of introduction to this using a message box before the report is shown. And if I go in here, there is no option in this universal function to show a message before. That's simply not something we, we thought of uh, needed to be. So that's one example of what we can use it for. Another one is if you make a, a new menu item using add and edit menus that export some data, you might want to be able to say after the export have uh, finished, export done. But again, if we look at universal function file exporter, it doesn't have that option or importer, it doesn't have that option. So is this a mistake from Boyum? No, it's actually a bit on purpose because it could be that you have a totally crazy setup where you say you want to import some data and then run a SQL report that shows that data. And then we should build an entire SQL report system onto the import system and so on. So what we can do instead is we can chain using macros. So again, right now, this one is running a universal function. And if we look at it in function buttons, it's running UF13. Uh, so what I instead want to do is I want to have it run another universal function. And this is my chaining function. Or let's make it show pop up. And launch report. Okay, so that should be a macro. Right now, I won't write that macro. I will just have it here because I have my 13, of course, that's good. But before that, I want to show a message box. In my case, I can't just write message box here like this and then introduction, blah, blah, blah. And then launch the, uh, the function. And the way you do that is you write UF. And there you can say, I want to run another universal function. And that is UF 013, which was my dashboard. So if I do it like this, it will show my instruction and then launch the report. If I wanted to do it then the other way around, I want to run the, the universal function first and then show the message box, I can also do that. Or again, if I wanted to, instead of doing this, I could run another universal function. So if I make another universal function, test, and it could be of any type of thing. It could be an import, it could be internal message, whatever. In my case, let's just make a message. Hello world. Then I code with my system here. Say launch the dashboard or say hello world. So that was 27. launch the dashboard and then show the introduction message. So I can do that, show hello world, run it, then get my message. And some of them are blocking, some of them are not blocking. So message boxes like that is for example blocking, but I could also for some odd reason open it twice. So I can get my message, open it up, open it up and then get my message. 
So it's very, very simple. It's just uf commands saying run that other function, do an export, do an external uh, launcher, whatever you want. And that's the reason why we don't uh, chain them like that, because you can just chain uh, in this way uh, with the macro system. And with that, thank you for attending, and I hope it will inspire you to make more chaining of your data.